Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to go ahead and play with some Hourglass makeup, mostly Hourglass makeup. I picked up the new lip balm that Hourglass just put out and it looks beautiful. I wanted to play with it. It looks like it's pretty, it's supposed to be plumping and fun. It's kind of late in the evening, I'm just sitting here in my pajamas and I thought, I'm gonna play with some makeup. So if that sounds cool, stick around because I'm about to get into it. But before I do, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe because it really does help me out a lot and it is always greatly appreciated. With that being said, Let's get into today's video, or tonight's video. I just thought it would be fun because this gloss is sitting here, well this lip balm actually is what it is, and it's got a really pretty tint to it, it, it looks beautiful, I want to try it, um, I want to try this, <laughs> so I don't know, why not, let's just hang out, let's chat, and, and just play with makeup, because it's just nice to do that, and yeah, my hair is up. Um, and that's it. This is <laughs> this is the look. This is the I'm getting ready to put on makeup, take it off, and go to bed look. So I don't know. I'm just gonna throw on a little highlighter under my eyes, and we're gonna get started. I'm, yeah, I'm just sitting there. I was out in the living room, and I'm watching TV, and this really pretty lip balm is sitting in here, and I'm like, you know, I know it's kind of late in the evening, but what the heck? I mean, let's just do it. Let's play with some makeup. And I have this foundation. And I haven't used it in forever, but when it first came out, the stick foundation, Vanish Stick Foundation, is that what it's called, I believe? I love this, and I used it all the time. I haven't used it in a while, and I don't know. I just figured, what the heck? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rock some hourglass. So let's just jump into this and be, I don't know, silly and have a little fun. God, I used to love this stuff. I don't know, is it expired? I have no idea, but I'm just gonna, Put this all over my face. Yeah, it's still a good match. I think it's golden something. I don't even know, what the hell is this? I can't remember. It's been so long since I used it. It's terrible. Yeah, golden tan, that's the name of it. Oh my gosh, I used to wear this like every freaking day. And uh, I don't know why I stopped. No, I do, I know why. I, I found so many other foundations, so many other launches happened, skin tints and all kinds of stuff like that that I wound up just falling in love with and, and just using on a regular basis. I did have the um, the concealer that everyone was in love with from Hourglass and I think I did end up decluttering it because it really did age me. Like under the eyes it showed every wrinkle and it didn't look good. Even when I set it, it, it just didn't look good on me and I was kind of surprised but that's just the way it was man. It just didn't work out so I ended up finally getting rid of it. I held on to it for the longest time and Finally, I just kind of gave up. I knew I wasn't gonna ever use it, and I just I just put it in the trash, and that was that. You know, not everything from Hourglass is a hit. There's something else I have here that I meant to declutter that I haven't over the years because I just don't have the heart to get rid of it, and I'm gonna use it today, and it's this. It's the bronzer, and I, I love the packaging, and it's got like this really pretty marbly look to it. You guys know, it's so pretty, and this is like the little, small trial size one and I just had it forever and all it does is make my face look really shiny and I don't really like it but I can't get rid of it I don't know why I just keep holding on to it I, I just don't have the heart to let it go um so I'm gonna use it today and I have a shiny face tonight I should say because you know it's nighttime it's nighttime and uh, wow, I actually look pretty yellow. <laughs> Guess this isn't exactly my shit anymore. It's all right, who cares? We're just having fun. It's all about having fun. So yeah, I was thinking, go ahead and sit down, play with a little makeup and talk about Thanksgiving. I thought about doing a tag and then I realized it was kind of late in the game and I even looked up some of the Thanksgiving Day tags and it didn't look like they were all that popular. So I figured, you know, maybe after Thanksgiving, you know, sit down and, and talk about the holiday or whatever and, and have a little fun with it. So I was thinking just Thanksgiving in general, like memories of, of Thanksgiving's past and, and like the good ones and the crazy ones and, and uh, just hoping that you guys had a great Thanksgiving and hearing about your Thanksgiving day and, and talking about like the cooking of, you know, the turkey and all that stuff and how daunting a Thanksgiving meal could be because um, it's a lot if you've never done it before. And I was thinking about this one time all these years ago 
<laughs> I'm still living with my my sister, and we were having the family over, and I had made um, a Thanksgiving turkey before, but I, I hadn't made it like many, many times. I, I wasn't super confident. You know, you want it to be like good, and obviously you want things to come out special. It's like it's a lot of pressure, <laughs> and so I guess I, I was feeling the pressure, and I, I wanted everything to come out nice, and I was, you know, cooking the bird and it was all going well and we were having like asparagus and I remember I was inspired that year by Giada. She had made these mashed potatoes with like a Parmesan crust on top. Oh my God, <laughs> so good. So I wanted to like emulate that. Now it's late and I'm getting hungry. It's just like probably shouldn't be talking about it. But um, so I'm making the turkey and doing that whole deal. Ugh, I'm gonna make my face shiny with this, but we're gonna do it anyway. And um, I, I go to check on it and I, I open the oven and I look inside and it looked so strange. Yeah, this has other product on it too, so I'm kind of mixing it with another bronzer. So it'll add that bronze, but it'll also be a little shiny too. It's, it's just gonna be a little shiny, it is what it is. So I go to check on the turkey and it looks weird. And, I, and we had a friend over and he's a sweetheart, it's a family friend. We're both looking at this turkey together. <laughs> it's kind of like, it looked like it had no, there was no turkey breast. I'm like, what, what is going on? What is up with this freaking turkey? It looks like it's just, it's just bone. <laughs> Something is just not right. And um, we finally, well, not finally, it didn't take too, too long for us to realize that I cooked it upside down. And um, it's not really a terrible thing. It actually makes it really, really moist. It, it turned out to be the moist, most delicious, fabulous turkey that I've probably ever made in my life. I don't think I've been able to replicate it ever again, but um, it was, it kind of freaked me out. We, we got it turned over, which was not easy because it was a big bird and there was, you know, everything <laughs> splashing all over the place. Um, and it was, uh, yeah, it was a thing. So the skin itself, once it had finished cooking, because it was almost done cooking by that time, um, it looked weird. The skin, did, it didn't come out very attractive, but when we cut into it and had, you know, the turkey moment, it was actually really delicious. Thank God, because it, it was the ugliest bird I ever cooked in my life. And um, yeah, it, it can be, it can be a little something. I, I just want to add a bit more of this. This is my little Chantecai. I don't know why, but I'm just going to play with this to carve out a little jawline because I don't think that that hourglass is going to do that for me. So I'm just going to create a little jawline here and we're going to keep going. I started thinking back to like childhood Thanksgivings, you know, when I was going over the idea of the tag thing and, and all that, I was thinking back to like, um, the things that I've like fondly remembered. My heater just turned on, it's making the door close, so it's like all creaky and weird. It's scary stories now, Woo! So childhood memories of Thanksgiving were awesome. You know, all those holidays back in the day because that meant like my grandma was coming over and uh, my uncle Phil, who we lost recently, just family members, people that were just like a joy to see and, and they're, they're boisterous personalities and there was life in the house and everyone was laughing and having fun. And um, my uncle Dennis, who would always come over and we have a strange relationship, he and I. We both have dry senses of humor, so we would just kind of like razz each other all the time. He'd bang on me about one thing or another, and I'd clap back at him, you know, one thing. We just had that kind of back and forth, back and forth, you know, still do to this day. And um, I love him very much, but there were times back then when I was a young girl where I would kind of take it personally, and because I didn't know how to handle it, oh, you know, I'm just a kid, so things didn't always hit the right way and I would be like, oh, you know, that hurt my feelings, but I wouldn't want to, you know, show that. I'd be like, no, no, I, I wouldn't want him to know that my feelings were hurt, so I'd keep going, you know, whatever. But it, it was a thing every now and again, it would like, it would just hit the wrong way because, you know, you're just a freaking kid. It is what it is. Um, but those were great times because, I don't know, we were all together and I always wanted to look, you know, pretty and back in those days, well, I was like, 80s to be had the big bows in our hair and all that nonsense going on big hair and everything and, and it's the, the whole like stretchy pants and the big sweatshirts and outfits were not cute I don't know I look back on my outfits from those days and um, it, not the best not the best times for me but it was still fun and back then I felt cute I felt pretty and and all that fun stuff and it was just exciting to be around everyone and all of us you know just getting together and sitting down and having a good meal and stuff um, yeah it was just some really great memories 
I'm gonna use this that I haven't used in a long time. And this is from Victoria Beckham, and it's the tawny little uh, palette. I'm gonna use just one shade on my lid because I can't, it's slightly, <laughs> so it's just really no, I don't know, it's really no point in going too crazy. I just wanted to hang out with you guys. So I am curious to know your Thanksgiving Day memories. If you care to share them in the comments, it would be really cool to hear, you know, just any kind of memory that comes to mind, anything that's kind of like funny or silly or family, you know, what was your favorite thing about Thanksgiving? Was it the food? Was it the dessert? I actually really, it's a rarity that I have it, but I do like pumpkin pie. I know that a lot of people don't like pumpkin pie. Some people like sweet potato pie, but I love pumpkin pie. I also like pecan pie, which I don't have very often, and it's really high in calories. And uh, <laughs> mm, it's really good. I just remember my friend and I back in the day would always get those little mini pecan pies that you could get at like 7-Eleven. I think they're still around. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, we'd have those and <laughs> just, ugh, it was, it's a lot, a lot of sugar, but they're so yummy. Um, I, of course, love turkey and the mashed potatoes that we made that night where I cooked the turkey upside down by accident, those actually turned out wonderful. I haven't made those again since. I don't know why. Um, they were awesome. And I don't know that um, we're going to end up cooking this year. Uh, we usually go to my husband's family for Thanksgiving, and then we, you know, go ahead and share Christmas with, you know, we spread it around and hang out with family. Well, I, ever since the big vid, can't really do so much anymore. But um, hopefully this year we'll be able to see more family members and do that whole thing. That's something that I'd like to do. But um, I believe we're going to go to Pat's family's for Thanksgiving, and then, uh, yeah, like I said, try and hang out with as many family members as we possibly can for the rest of the holiday because, you know, just a special time and it's kind of crazy how it's come around so freaking fast. I mean, I don't know, it's, it's like this year has just blown by and I know I said that last year too. I feel like I said, <laughs> said that the year before as well. It's just like, it's weird. Time just keeps going faster and faster and faster. It's actually kind of crazy, but I'm feeling it. So I'm going to use this Hourglass Mascara. I don't mind this. I don't use it often. Um, it's not bad. Oh, why I don't use it often. A splashy formula? I can't remember, but I'm about to find out. And I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to have it on for a very long time. I'm just kind of like hanging out and chatting with you guys about random crap late at night in my pajamas, which is low-key kind of awesome, <laughs> but at the same time, maybe kind of weird. <laughs> no. But I just thought it'd be fun to do that. And it gives me an opportunity to try this lip gloss because I'm really wanting to. I want to know if it's going to make my lips at least even slightly more plump than they are. It would be nice to have, it's supposed to have like a filler effect. I'll read it to you guys here in just a second. I just want to put on a little bit of mascara. Yeah, this is a nice mascara. And it's not uh, on the cheap side. It's, Hourglass is super expensive. I mean, they have really pretty luxury products, but... Pricey. They're a little on the pricey side. And I think this foundation is expired. <laughs> I think it is. Yeah, I'm looking pretty yellow and scary. Um, I don't remember it being so yellow, but that's okay. We're, we're rocking it out anyway. Maybe a little blush will help. Yeah, every time I look at their um, blushes and things like that and powders that they have for Hourglass, it's all a very shiny, shiny formula and it's, it's not bad, it's pretty if you like that sort of thing, but I feel like, honestly, I don't, I don't like to have a full shiny, shiny face. I like some things to be uh, like a natural finish or leaning more toward matte kind of deal because, I don't know, I just feel like a super shiny, all over, like dewy foundation with a shiny blush and a shiny bronzer and a helicopter flying overhead. It just doesn't wear well on me, and I feel like it even accentuates like texture and stuff like that on my face. I don't know. I just feel like it does. And let me know in the comments if you agree, if you feel the same way. Maybe you like the shiny kind of um, look. I, everyone's different. We all have different preferences. You know, makeup is, is subjective, and I totally get it. If you like rocking the shiny look, then it's all fine and good. One thing I will say, even though I'm not a big powder wearer, and I think I said this in my last video, is that the Hourglass 
powder that they have. This is amazing. It doesn't jack up my under eyes. It doesn't make me look super dry. It's actually a really nice powder. So I'll put a little bit of that under my eyeball as soon as I find a brush to do it with. There we go. This will do. I don't know why I'm setting my under eye, but I just feel like it right now because it's hourglass and it's part of like what we're using. Yeah. It's just nice. Just set it a little bit. No. Not my best work, but it doesn't really matter, right? What do you think? It's pretty. It does have like a brightening effect, but it's not cakey and it's not dry. It's not strange. It's just a really good formula. Okay, now we're getting into uh, what I wanted to get into. So <laughs> let's look at the clock. No, let's not do that. So this is, like I said, or did I already say? Did I not say? I don't know. This is the shade Trace 105, and it retails for $35, and it's called the Phantom Volumizing Glossy Balm. They have eight shades, and it says here that it is an innovative three-in-one hybrid that hydrates the lip like a lip balm and plumps for a fuller looking lip. It delivers a high shine finish of a lip gloss. It's a breakthrough formula infused with conditioning complex for lips for instantly looking softer, smoother, and feeling nourished, replenished all day. Wow, it's like doing all kinds of great stuff. Glides on smoothly onto lips for a full body color and comfortable wear without feeling sticky or tacky. Available in curated collection of eight shades and packaged in a sleek twist up pen for effortless application and precision. Wow, okay. So it's making a lot of claims and it should do something fabulous considering that it's $35 before tax. So let's open this up and see what's the what. It's so pretty. I just love their packaging. It's amazing. Why do I love this so much? Okay, so here's this. And I'm gonna twist it and twist it and twist it. And that's the shade. That's pretty. This is the kind of shade that I would go for. I like it. They had reds and pinks and stuff like that, but this one, oh, I like that. So Nakia Joy was raving about this. She's saying that it's viral, that everyone is like going and grabbing this and losing their minds over this lip balm. Quite honestly, I hadn't heard about it until I saw her TikTok talking about it. And then I went out and got it today because I had a gift card for Sephora from my husband from our anniversary that he gave me as a gift. That's why I bought this. I can say, mmm, it's, it's thick, but it's not thick. It's gonna sound weird. I can feel like it's moisturizing. It's not uncomfortable, but it feels like almost like it wants to be goopy, but it's not. It's very emollient, much like the foundation, um, but in like a good way. Hmm. I love the shade. I mean, I really think that's that's super pretty. I don't know if I feel any kind of plumping effect. You know how a, a lip plumper will usually tingle or whatever? There's no tingling. It feels like I just put on, um, well, I guess like, yeah, like a hybrid lip gloss balm, pretty much like what they're talking about. But yeah, it doesn't feel, oh, hair test, let's do that. It's gonna stick. <laughs> I wanted to do it because that's one of the things I hate about a lip gloss. Even though I still wear lip glosses when your hair gets stuck in it. But it's nice. I mean, it's not overly sticky. It's not doing anything weird. It looks pretty. I don't know if my lips feel fuller. I don't know if it's gonna take a minute for it to happen. I'm just, <laughs> I don't know. I'm like all PJ'd out. I feel like my hair is like falling out too. I'm shedding horribly. It's awful. But um, I don't know. I don't hate it. I think it's nice, but I don't think it's doing anything fantastic just yet. So let's let's share another Thanksgiving story. Let's see here. I know I got another one going on in my brain. It's when Pat and I had our first Thanksgiving together, and I just moved back here to to live with him in California. I never thought that I would come back to this town once I left. Never thought that I'd be coming back here, but 
here I am. And we're making Thanksgiving, you know, together, and he's doing like most of the cooking. And he had worked in a kitchen for many, many years ago when he was young, so he was like really, you know, excited. I could tell them want to go ahead and make the turkey and all that stuff. And it was just the two of us, and um, everything came out amazing. The turkey he made was wonderful, and I we also got those, um, you know, those croissant rolls. I love those are fantastic. So we have the croissant rolls and, uh, <laughs> and the little Pillsbury things. They're so freaking good. And uh, stuffing. I love the stuffing. And it was just the two of us, you know, together. And it's before we got married. But, you know, there was just so much love and so much excitement and joy and just being, you know, just grateful that we had finally found each other. And it was a romantic, really wonderful Thanksgiving. And yeah, he made a fantastic turkey. He really is an excellent cook. I gotta give him credit. So that was a wonderful Thanksgiving. And yeah, and you know, family and, and friends and good food and you know, all that. You just, you can't beat that. It's, it's a wonderful thing. Even if it's just like a small group of people or, you know, just two people just, coming together and, and having a nice meal and, and sharing a laugh and I don't know, it's, it's a cool thing. And I remember, and I don't know if this was, um, is this Thanksgiving or is this Christmas? I never got into the parade. I know a lot of people get into the whole parade thing. I never got into that. But I remember Twilight Zone used to come on and I can't remember if it's that Thanksgiving marathon. I think it was. And I would just, back in the day, <laughs> Watch Twilight Zone. It's another great memory. And yeah, sit there in my turkey coma <laughs> and eating all of too much food and, and, you know, just being happy and, and grateful. And I don't know, just it's, it's like fun memories. I just wanted to share. And I want to hear about your guys' memories too. I hope that you'll share some with me in the comments. But um, yeah, I know I already said that, but I'm saying it again. So what do we think? Do my lips look fuller to you? I don't know. I don't know if this is a, a lip filling kind of experience I'm having. I definitely feel like my lips are, you know, conditioned and nourished. I do, now that I'm thinking about it, feel a bit of a minty kind of feeling. Not like super duper, like when you put on like the lip plumper from Too Faced or something like that. It's very gentle, but I can feel it. It's almost like, um, like a, uh, yeah, like a breath mint and you kind of, feel that kind of chill, but it's not super, super crazy. Um, it's a beautiful shade. It's a beautiful shine. It uh, doesn't look super plumpy. I don't know if I would recommend it to go out and get it for 35 bucks and, and do all that, unless you love it and love Hourglass, you know, like I do, and you're, you're down to try it. I don't know why it's viral. I'm not really sure. Um, but I can say that there are a lot of products from Hourglass that I really do enjoy, that I'm grateful to have. It is a shame that I don't particularly like the bronzer. Um, I just don't want a shiny face, man. I don't know. And I just don't have the heart to throw it out. I just can't bring myself to throw it out. I, I can't tell you why. I don't know. Just holding on to it for whatever reason. It just looks nice in my backdrop there and it just kind of hangs out and collects dust. But yeah, I'm glad that I sat down and, you know, played with some of these products. I haven't played with them in such a long time, and I really do enjoy Hourglass products. I think they're great, and it's, you know, thanks to good old Nakia Joy out there getting me to spend my money on these products, tell me this, this has gone viral. I don't know. I guess it depends on how well this video does. Not that it matters, you know, it's, it's just all about hanging out with you guys and, and spending time with you, and really for, for the love of makeup, I think I'll always have a passion for it, and yeah, certain brands are just just kind of a little hard to resist, even though they're a little overpriced. So am I glad that I got this? I am, actually. I do love the shade. I'm gonna throw it in my handbag and carry it around with me. It's kind of almost like, um, it's almost like the Fenty Beauty lip, uh, lip gloss that she has, the universal one, uh, the Balm Lip Balm, is that what it's called? I can't remember right now. I'll pop it up on the screen so you guys you know, can see. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. It kind of reminds me of that. It really does remind me of that, actually. Uh, shade and everything, <laughs> it's, it's very reminiscent. I tend to repeat myself in life and, and in products that I buy. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I like the same, same shades, same shades, same freaking everything. I, I, I gotta step outside the box a little bit more, but I don't wear red or dark lippies very often, because I'm, again, I know I said this in another video, I'm always the person that gets it on my teeth, and it's just like, I don't wanna, I, I want to avoid that if I can. So I went with this shade. It's very pretty. Um, again, I don't think anyone needs to rush out and buy it because it's 
it's overpriced. I think you can find something a lot more um, affordable that'll do the same thing. I, I don't feel it doing the plumping. I don't see the plumping, um, but it's not a deal breaker for me. It doesn't mean I'm not going to use it. Like I said, I'm going to toss it in my bag and I'm going to wear it because it's, it's a shade that I like and it does moisturize. So I got to give it credit for that. And it's pretty. It's pretty. <laughs> so this is what you're spending 35 bucks on is the freaking packaging and all that. The name, basically, because other than that, you just have a nice shade of a lip balm slash gloss that's doing this so i don't know <laughs> anyway i do hope you guys had an awesome thanksgiving and i just want to thank you for you know spending a little time with me while i play with this expired makeup and <laughs> just hang out and talk to you guys i always appreciate hanging out with you so that's going to do it for me tonight i'm going to go ahead and wash this off and get some sleep and thank you so much for sticking around and watching i really do appreciate it and i will catch you all in the next one good night